hi everybody welcome back to my channel we're gonna get right into it that's right you see me I'm about to do some work that's right that's my walker walking away Jerry what are you gonna do well actually I'll tell you this is what we're doing today is we're moving this dresser into the dining room what you didn't see was Jim empty it he'll be sharing that video on his channel he took out all the drawers took out all his clothes and we're organizing his clothes and I'm a beast we all know I'm a beast what I actually said to him was I, I woke up really early this morning and I laid in bed and I said, you know what, I just really want to do this. I think that the dress, I just need support when I'm walking and I think the dresser can give me support while I'm walking and it worked out okay. Excuse my little bit of like back showing there. I apologize. I didn't pull my shirt down and I should have. <laughs> but it ended up being pretty easy. Just like before, we put it on a piece of uh, like old blanket um, that we use for moving furniture. I, I wanted to show you guys this. So Jim was saying how we're going to have to maneuver this thing. We're going to have to turn it this way to turn it that way, to turn it this way. I said, Jim, why don't we should just stand it up on its end? And that's what we ended up doing. I turned it around just because why the way I'm going to be heading into the dining room, it would be perfectly laid down if I go uh, tail end first. But obviously I couldn't move tail end first. Um, so I took that opportunity to turn it around while we were there in the kitchen, in the open area, which was relatively easy because we were on a blanket. Okay, so I'm going to slide it in here. Um, he's getting out of the way and he's going to pull up the blanket. And this is kind of like the trick I wanted to share you guys, because if you have somebody pull the blanket with the furniture over the threshold, that's really what makes it the most easy because transitioning from carpet to floor, floor to carpet, is usually the most difficult out of this really easy process. All right. And then Jim's going to put it into place and I am going to uh, go sit down. <laughs> he actually had to vacuum. So um, he was like, go sit down and I'll vacuum. But he was very proud of me for doing it. And I was very proud of myself for doing it too, because, you know, sometimes you just have to do. So we're taking these two side cabinets, these glass cabinets that used to be on the side of the H cabinet with all of our collected grist to wear. And basically it's heirloom pieces and stuff we got at our wedding and stuff that we like to keep. Um, we're going to be putting them on the dresser. And I have to tell you, this is finished and it looks so good in my opinion. Um, if you don't agree, then that's fine. You don't have to live here. <laughs> But the one thing we have to do first is to take the portraits down. Um, we're back and forth about what are we going to do with them? Are we going to hang them back up? What, what does he want to do in the space? We might just take a break for them. They've been hanging there for seven years. Um, put them into storage for a little while and then bring them back out. There's no harm in doing that, you know. Um, so we're just going to put them off to the side for today until um, we get the rest of them together. And... Then we're going to go ahead and not even take the hooks out of the wall. Um, this dresser we decided to center on the wall. Now, the old cabinet and the old china crystal cabinets used to be centered on the space between the open door and the corner. Um, now we've decided to just make it even on the wall. Okay. So I got these media cabinets like I was mentioning in the previous video that I got these at like 7thAvenue.com or Montgomery Wards because they're sister co companies and I don't remember exactly which one I bought them from. But they really have been great up to this point, and I'm not saying that they're not good up to this point, but the we had a little trouble picking it up, and then the cam locks on the bottom had come loose, and we didn't even understand why. So just finagling, the doors came off their tracks because the cam locks were loose, and um, I'm grateful that none of the doors fell out, honestly. We just decided to slide them up the front of the dresser. It was not the easiest thing, but working together, you know, we both had different opinions of how it was. Jim was really moaning and groaning a lot. And I was like, this isn't that hard and heavy. Are you okay? <laughs> like, I was really worried about him for a second. But we ended up doing it and it was fine. It worked out. It worked out. There you go. I was like, Jim, there you go. We got it. Um, and then just a matter of spacing them evenly. Now, for the tops, the tops do touch, but there will be a space between them. Um... And that's okay with me. It's totally, I'm really, it looks really great. It's exactly how I visioned it. And I'm 100% fine with the way it is. And now he's just going to do a little bit of cleaning while I take a rest because I have to rest a little bit more often than he does. Um, and then we're going to start loading this. Now, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know we had um, Mom's China in the H cabinet and some crystal and some very special pieces. Um, and we had placemats and tablecloths and stuff like that. We took all that out 
Well, Jim took it all out in um, the video yesterday. And now we're putting them back. On the bottom right-hand corner table, I was thinking about on the top, I would like to put the linens, but my um, round table, uh, my round placemats were a little too big and they had to creep up one of the sides. Um, and if I creeped them up the side on the top shelf, it would have, uh, the top drawer, excuse me, it would have prevented the drawer from opening and closing properly. So what we decided to just put them down here, but I will tell you in full disclosure, we discussed that when this is all done, we will move all of the linens to one cabinet and all of the crystal and china and plates into the other cabinet. So if you've been with us this whole project in the dresser in the corner, which we refer to as the Filipino dresser, it has chargers, um, charger plates on the bottom, uh, holiday plates next, like melamine holiday plates, and then three drawers of linens, well, four drawers really, two, two full drawers and two half drawers of, of table linens. Um, so I said to him, it would be great if we could move all of the plates to here and the linens there. And this way we'll be able to lay all our placemats out nice and then we'll get bumped up and that kind of stuff. So we ended up purging quite a bit. Um, some of the homemade placemats that I had made on my channel, um, the burlap ones, and then some holiday dishes that I just didn't want anymore. We really never used them. And, you know, I mostly use them for decor and we're not using them for decor anymore, so they can they can go. You know, it's like it's time. Um, but what I'm pretty much doing is just trying to like find the best way to situate this. I don't want anything to get broken. These this these drawers are very sturdy, except the bottom one on mm, the right side in front of me, where I put the t placemats, is a Lucy drawer. You know, it just like will come all the way out and hit the ground. It doesn't have a track. The track is missing off the bottom. So I figured that's probably the safest place to put those linens because we don't have to worry about them and that kind of thing. Okay. Now we're going to put the china into a deep right drawer. Um, the right side, I'm going to put the china dishes and then the saucer and creamer. Um, but basically it's going to be the dinner dishes with the dessert dishes on top with the saucers and creamers in front of that. I just put now, um, paper towels between them so just to protect them from hitting each other I mean it doesn't have to be major protection it doesn't have to be bubble wrap or anything um, just that and then we're going to go ahead and put all like the little bowls and saucers and stuff on the top drawer right above it and now unfortunately you can't see this because he didn't tilt the camera down and I actually was saying it while we were doing it so I apologize but we just have a shelf on the plastic rack which you kind of can see the shelf that has platters and bowls in it and we wanted to move them I wanted to move them to this dresser so we decided to put them in the middle deep drawer um, now they don't fit quite across um, they are I have to have the big bowls tilted up a little bit but that's okay I don't mind that at all it's just two of them I have this really heavy, really heavy painted terracotta bowl with a rooster on it. And then on top of it, I have this pretty heavy white ceramic um, serving dish that is a really nice size for like bigger items. Um, and then I have that on top and they're kind of like tilted in the, in the drawer. But I don't mind that because that drawer is really deep. So it works out really well for me. Okay. And then... Um, the bottom drawer on the left, we end up putting some platters in the same kind of configuration. The platters were a little wide for the drawer, so they have to like tilt up, tilt down, and basically be on a little bit of an angle. Okay, so now you can see better. Sorry about that. This is just me maneuvering. <laughs> you got to get over to the other side. All right. It's also good. So if you're working with limitations as well, you have to remember that it's good to get up, even if it's just for two seconds, to sit back down again as opposed to just sitting in the same position for too long. Um, it's really not good for you, or good for, normally it's really not good for you. Um, so now we're going to work on other the other two drawers, that are the deep one and the one above it. I have a collection of Dollar Tree plates and plates that I've made in ceramics that are um, just what I use to, to set the table for holidays, basically coordinate with placemats and coordinate with Christmas dishes. Um, and there are just a few. We just decided to keep a few. I kept the two green ones. I kept the spring ones. Um, basically, we have two Dollar Tree plates with spring flowers and then two that are like turquoise color that have coordinating placemats um, that just can be for like Easter, spring, really not Easter, but really between spring. Um, and because we had so much room, we decided to just go ahead and keep them. Um, and that's what I'm putting into the big drawer and then the drawer above it, I'm putting... Um, just these 
Christmas cake plates that I got from Corel. They're really cute. They were on clearance one day, one year, and I got like six of them. And then like little plates that I made in ceramics and stuff like that. There was two bowls um, that I moved into the drawer, the big drawer in the middle, because one of them goes in the center of a crystal serving dish, and one of them goes in the center of a white, the big white serving dish I was talking about, okay? And then we um, started to work on putting the crystal back. Um, I did tell him, I was like, I would love to help you the best I can. I did the whole bottom shelf, obviously sitting down, because that's what I have to do right now. Um, as often as possible, unfortunately. But what I did was I put this, um, I have a crystal lantern on the right. It's actually like a lamp and it's from Party Light Candle. So it holds like a tea light candle. It makes all this really pretty crystal shimmer on the walls. And then on the left, um, just opposite of it, I try to do mirror image on the cabinets. So just the mirror image of that is actually going to be the crystal picture that we got for our shower. Um, it's basically a crystal water picture um, for when, you know, you're entertaining the queen. You never know when the queen's going to come over. <laughs> um, you can't see it in this shot, but on the very, very top, we put these two uh, fish that my dad had carved. And then we put some Dollar Tree candle holder jars because I wanted to be able to have something that if it broke, it, if it fell, it wouldn't break or damage anything or it wouldn't, it would only cost a dollar. So like if it broke, if those Dollar Tree candle holders break, I'm just out of a dollar, but these cabinets are on there pretty sturdy, so I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. So now I'm going to get out of the way, and I'm going to let Jimmy have at it, and he is going to um, start putting in all of his German uh, wine glasses and stuff. So if you watched the video yesterday, he held a bunch of them up to show you uh, his little collection that they've had for years and years and years, and... Um, that's what he wants to work on first. Uh, we talked about what do we want for this cabinet. And originally he was thinking he wanted to do his own sort of decorations, just his own Nordic thing. And I said, well, honey, in all, in all fairness, this is specifically there to protect these glasses. And if I don't put them back in here, I really won't have any place to put them where they'll be protected. You know, his paternal grandparents wedding glasses are in here. So that that those are kinda old. No, so I don't know but... if you could see me, but I'm gonna just tell Jimmy that um I'm gonna have him lay everything out and then I'm gonna have him divide everything in half okay. and kind of mirror it before he puts it up on the shelf. It will just help, kind of like how you lay out a picture frame wall before you actually hang anything. It'll help with setting up displays, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I will tell you, as you guys can see, that the two glass cabinets are a lighter tone than the dresser. And I will tell you, normally that would bother me, but it does not bother me in this room. The buffets themselves kind of have like a two-tone wood thing, so I really don't mind just adding more tones to it. Um, and then the fact that Jimmy's got a, like a walnut table with sort of a, I don't think it's pine, I think it's oak um, bookcase on it that, you know, it's also adds to the two-tone feel. So I, I didn't mind this two-tone look and, you know, but if it was objectionable to you, if you had a piece of furniture that you wanted to match, you could stain it and strip it. You could go over it. Do they have these like over stains, like one-step gel coating stains that go over? Um, but you could also paint it. It would look really cute painted as well. Okay. Now he is just organizing. We have a set of eight uh, wine glasses that we got for our wedding. Then mom has a bunch of crystal um, champagne flutes, wine glasses, and aperitif glasses that she had gotten from um, when when uh, Jim's dad retired uh, from the Air Force. So we have a bunch of things, and they really mean a lot. We also have a bunch left over, and I'll show you that at the end, that there is a bunch left over. And some of them mean stuff to me, but they're not necessarily like they have to be on display. Because some of them actually, some of the stuff came out of the H cabinet where we didn't really have them on display. But they do mean something to me that possibly in the future we'll display them or whatever. And then some of them are um, uh, just like extras. You know, like I have, per perfect example is I have six, um, a set of six red wine glasses in my everyday cabinet. Well, if I ever have eight people over, I have two extra red wine glasses, for example, just to give you an idea. 
So like that, just stuff like that. It's just to make it, that's what's extra. Um, and when we finally get the office done, we will get all of the glassware out of those drawers. So we'll also be able to rearrange at that point as well. Um, there is a couple of things that we're going to have to leave until we actually get like the H cabinet moved out. And then there's some things we're going to have to wait until we get that um, craft room done. And then there's some things we're going to have to wait till we get a storage shed. But I see the vision of the future. I see how it's coming together. And I'm super, super happy about it. And you know what? So is Jim. And that's really what the most important thing is in this room. Okay. So he's doing a fantastic job. He is following my tutelage <laughs> of how it should be I will tell you I mentioned before we keep these in here because they really do keep them clean for longer um, but I will tell you that they all need to get run through the dishwasher the ones that are dishwasher safe need to get run to the dishwasher the rest need to get washed hand washed but he said we would just like to get done now and then when we're ready to do the decor and stuff that we'll take them out and wash them because um it's been a really, because I haven't been well in the pandemic, we really didn't uh, wash these again in over a year. Um, didn't use any of these for my party in July. So um, these haven't been really treated in over a year. So you'll wash them again and then make sure that they're uh, in there clean for the, for the future. Now, with all of the stuff going on, we had a little trouble with this door. Um, it was weird, but he just took the one off the track, lined the other one back in its track, and went about its business um but I mentioned these are really nice I got them relatively inexpensive um considering the type of furniture they are uh, because they're like I said they're sold as media cabinets and I said to Jimmy I don't know who would want to display their DVDs out like that but not me I like to use it for my crystal so hopefully you guys enjoyed this this is the finished product so far um, I really love it and Jim loves it too we still have more to add there so that's coming up soon there's a little bit of what's left over and if you have any questions leave them in the comments don't forget to share and like and subscribe and all the things and as always you guys take care God bless and we'll see you next time bye